It's actually probably better. Yeah. 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 So OG Sue has officially quit No Jumper. Yeah. And and I feel like we should describe who this man was. And, you know, I did a little research. Okay, okay. And, you know, I was thoroughly surprised <laughs> okay, go ahead, by go ahead. this nigga's origin story. It's pretty so, deep. So, first of all, <laughs> the nigga was found in an, abandoned par- in an abandoned apartment. How old was he? Bro, young, like, they said the neighbors just heard crying. And they was like, what the fuck is going on? For, like, a couple of days. Oh, yeah. And then eventually they called the cops. And, you know, nobody answered because babies, however old they were, they couldn't answer the door. Yeah, it was a fucking baby. Yeah. So, you know, they found, you know... Uh, uh, a dirty OG Sue with his brother, and you know he was living life in uh, what's it called? Um, Compton? Uh, confinement? <laughs> nah. Uh, when you're when you're trying to get adopted, what's that? Oh, oh foster. Oh, he was, foster care. He was foster a care. foster care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then group you know, homes and all that shit like that. group homes like and, Bellwell. Yeah, yeah. Calvin w- Cambridge without the lucky shot. So, you know, he's doing that. He's cribbing. He's robbing. He's Pre-speakers. shooting. Pre-speakers. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually, right, so he starts to tell the story about how he got his name, which I, I only cared about that. Right, Because right. I'm like, with a name like that, you either have to be doing that to people. Yeah, or, yeah. or have tried to do it to yourself. Right. So I, I'm listening to him talking about it. He was like, yeah, man, you know, I walked out my friend's crib. I'm, I'm fucking the story up. But, you know, I'm sitting out on the, I'm just out on the uh, street. Or whatever, and I'm just looking up in the sky, like man, like I, like why am I here? It's a good you know day what I mean? Die. Like it's a good day to die. Yeah. He literally pulled out the pistol, put it to his head, shot it, nigga. He, he of course you know he ended up living, and he was even like, man, I felt like such a failure because I couldn't even kill myself. I couldn't correctly. even. I couldn't even hurt myself. Yeah. I can't even kill myself. And I can't he's, even, he said the homies clowned him for it too. He got back to the hood and niggas was like, ha, look at you, nigga. <laughs> Dumbass niggas couldn't even kill himself. Hey, breathe, nigga, breathe. Awesome, awesome yeah. bunny rabbit yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. literally. Also, Crazy. Yeah, awesome, awesome cheddar bob shit. Yeah, and, and you know, he was like, he said it didn't let him, it didn't affect him, but I, I'm pretty sure it affected him. Scrambled like, his brains up, because I think it was a 22 as well. 22s are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah nah, the, you, there's a lasting residual <laughs> effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you he can't was, tell me you got shot in the head and, and you're different. He called. He said he was Frankenstein for like the first month. Yeah, because of the stitches. Just yeah, he was all fucked up. And, you know, he probably clouded your brain trying to heal. Yeah, all that swollen yeah. and shit. Yeah, motor yeah. control slow. All that shit. So that was a good that we that you went because I forgot his origin story. It's the most important. He tried yeah. to. Yeah, but he is AD's OG from his hood. Yeah, and so he would come up there because that's like he's AD's like he was the one of the earliest rappers in the hood that would. Uh-huh. Teach the young kids like AD how to even get on distro kids, streaming services, stuff he like that. He was from the era that they nicknamed you after the most legendary shit you did. Exactly. That's how like he could have shit his pants and he's just OG diaper boy. Yep, exactly. Mm-hmm. And, exactly. And he's also from the era when like I he used to rap with like Ice Cube DJs and like nigga shit like that. Yeah. But you know Curtis, Curtis Blow and stuff. Curtis like that. Blow, yeah. but you know, he was just into what he was into. Hey, go. G Funk. G Funk was his era for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um he quit No Jumper officially because even though everybody left A D T Rail and all them, he was still there. And he went, I'll say I'll, I'll say he went out in the best fashion. You know, he pulled up, <laughs> told him to go live and brought a uh Charleston, uh was it uh, Alabama, Alabama chair. Montgomery. And this is his uh, quitting. Clever. This is his quitting speech. And I do want to say, I I honestly didn't even know he worked there until he like has a show, but it doesn't show I, up on the network. It has his own channel. I didn't know who he was, yeah. so it's like you know, for those of you watching now, you're probably like, who the fuck is this guy? And I recommend you to go watch his like interview. <laughs> okay, with you want you want me to tell you who he is for all of our other listeners? For our other listeners. He is the Chris Monroe, but imagine Chris Monroe had a show semi-associated with the brilliant idiots that we never knew about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't even know Chris Monroe. Be, he was wax before wax got on camera. I was about to say, right. would you, he was Chris Monroe had power yeah, yeah. and authority. He was, he was wax before wax got on camera. So it was like wax would come in. So the, the running theme was if you were an avid watcher of the No Jumper show when AD was on there and it was AD house phone and Adam, he always came in the last 30 minutes of the show, and they would stop the show and say, OG Suicide's in the building. Damn it. Mark that for me, please. I got you. <laughs> but OG Blank. Yeah. OG, OG Sue's OG in the building. Sue. Wait, and, does he say his own name on No Jumper? Yeah. 
and they can get away with it. So we should be fine then. Yeah, like yeah, we should he be says fine. his own name. It's literally right there. Yeah. But how many? They're not they just spelled go, it differently. They're not just. They go, did. They did spell it differently. Then, that's how he spelled. No, it. No, that's okay. how he's he's big C. Yeah, but yeah. But they're also not calling him. Hey, yo, OG Sue, like. They're not saying that. They but do say that. He doesn't that was, introduce himself? Okay. No, 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 they did. On every episode, like, podcast. if he came in, OG said, was hiding in the building? That was the thing. That was what the, That was literally, that's every episode. Every so, right. so we just been calling him OG Suit. We're paranoid. Okay. That's what yeah, we are. That's, we're a little paranoid. We're we are. Paranoid. We are. Yeah. Which, is, which, is, which, is, which, is, which is okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good to be paranoid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Keep everything uh, in the green. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's watch his quitting speech, which was the best quitting speech we've seen so far. His exit interview. Yeah. Yeah, literally. As of today, today is my official last day at No Jumper. This is my last day at No Jumper. I would no longer be here at No Jumper filming my show. At all. My show, I'm moving on with. I'm taking elsewhere. Keep subscribing to OG Suicide in the building because the channel's going with me. But this is my official last day. This is my announcement to y'all. Today is my last day at No Jumper. I would no longer be at No Jumper. You know, that time has came for me to go. Got that Denzel It's finger. official today. <laughs> I'm out of here. But keep subscribing to OG Suicide in the building. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Because I got something in store for you. This you know nigga, what I'm saying? I, I really do. I got something. This nigga definitely still has fragments in his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely, like, there's, there, you know? Yeah. There's yeah. leftovers from that. And I'm you got to think about it. This is AD's OG. This is, yeah. this is the person that AD looked up to. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is who raised him. The cycle repeats itself, people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I haven't met, I haven't met OG Sue yeah. outside. So I don't know, but yeah, I mean, skip, my fault. you might have to skip forward a little bit because he's going to say the same thing. I'm trying to get to the point when he addresses the yeah. chair. Yeah, I think he's about to now. Okay, okay, I think okay. So, yeah, I think the chair that's right there. Oh yeah, he yeah he there right we there. Go. Yeah, go go ahead and start there. Or? Start 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 there. Just move up just a little bit. Yeah, right there. I'm just noticing. When this I chair. walk out this door, I'm walking out for good. I'm no longer a part of no jumper. I'm no longer with no jumper. You know, and, and I mean that. And that's what it is. <laughs> if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. Dude, keep following, you. keep fuck supporting, Quentin. keep subscribing. And you want to know the most craziest shit? People have been asking, what's the chair for? I brought this chair for somebody to give it to them as a gift. But unfortunately, they not here. You know? Because I, I was trying to give charity to somebody. Charity. You know? That's why I got this chair here. He is a rapper. Because this chair speak volume. And I thought I was going to be able to let it talk, but I guess not. Is, but guess what? Is this I'm a double entendre? Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, he's okay. going crazy. He went off at the end. I about to say, but he's going to smack somebody with that chair, right? His yeah. goal apparently was to let that chair smack across, talk across Adam's head. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Apparently. And give a donation to a charitable foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I can kind of recap what happens after this is Damn. that. Does he break something? No, he doesn't. Okay. He goes out respectfully. He, he could have been a wrestler. Yeah. Adam a good, pretty uh, much jumps online. That's when I said he needs to stop doing these hair transplant surgeries because his hair was looking crazy. He mm. jumped online with that same terrible. Let me toupee. tell you what's going on. Yeah, that it looked like a toupee for real this time. But long story short, he pretty much was just saying that OG Suicide was asking him to borrow money. And then not only that, he was also asking other people in the office to borrow money. So there's a little bit of that. In there as well too, where it's like nigga panhandling at the job. Yeah, Prince. Yeah, essentially, <laughs> you essentially, cannot have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, nah. Essentially, so it's like, hey, yo, and you see like the type your of broke ass on somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he's not even go ask you for money quietly. Like yeah. he's not ashamed of his situation. Yeah. So his thing is saying love one. So he's like, hey, love one. Let me holler at you real quick, loved one. You know, mm -hmm. think he got the OG privilege. Yeah, let yep. me, like let me come over here. Let me rap at you real quick. Yeah, yeah, let me. I need a lump sum, loved one. I don't know if you have a hundred dollars. You can let me borrow, loved one. You know, it's just, <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. But if that part's true, it's like who gives a fuck that you quit, nigga? You out here panhandling yeah, to my employees. Facts, you know facts, what I'm saying? Man, you OG too. It's like, man, you leading by bad example. 
Yeah, yeah that's, so yeah, it's that's terrible. You man. shouldn't want an OG to still panhandle. Nah. You know what I mean? That has to that's be That's not bad the nigga luck. to aspire to be. Nah, it's like a nasty uncle that just hit nephew for no reason. Nephew. What it, yeah, what advice yeah. can you give me? Get away from me, for yeah. I feel like my Xbox isn't safe around you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real, yeah, like, yeah. It might get yeah. pawned off. So or hella yeah. greasy when you go to play Call of Duty. Man. Yeah, I hope it's grease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's what that's in news of that. I think that's we're right at right at three. Yeah, we're right at three. Jesus, yo, we keep giving y'all niggas a lot of content, man. We ain't doing nothing. I'm not gonna lie. Nigga, three hours. Super of us. 